Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here. Today we're learning how to create simple circular preloaders for our Flash Action Script 3 projects that are hefty or maybe bulky. So that's what I'm showing you how to do and let's go ahead and see what we have before we start learning. And that's what it is. Very simple one. In the next lesson, my next tutorial is going to show you how to do it a little more dynamically. This one is dynamic and code driven. In the next one I'm going to show you how to do a wedge that is kind of starts like a little tiny small pizza piece of pizza a little tiny wedge and it grows to a full pie and that will be a mask that will reveal some cool circular animation you have going on behind it which is a better method in my opinion so definitely don't miss my next lesson but stick around for this one because this is extra cool as well okay first I'll show you my drawing symbol I created here this is very simple it was just it started as a if you hold down in the shapes tool you grab a an oval tool not the oval primitive regular oval and you draw it out you'll see that you have a drawing object see what this is drawing object see what that is drawing object you double click inside of it and boom that's where it's all dots and that's where I manipulated you can cut out like you can press control C control V you have another circle there make it a different color you put it on top of that circle you remove it or you deselect then you remove it and boom it cut it out you see that that's how I did all that and I used a couple of rectangles but you gotta make sure everything's dots dots on dots and different colors and if you have things of the same color it will merge so if I grab this and I have another one just like that they merged you see okay that's how I made this shape so if I am in the main timeline here double click inside of it you can see it's dots when I click it that's editing the native symbol okay now what we're gonna do is add some code to this so first let's just go ahead and shrink it I'm going to shrink it that's a good size and I want to put a filter well first I have to put, make it a movie clip so let's convert to symbol make it a movie clip let's call it nested clip and this is just so we can style it registration center okay now we go to filters add a filter of glow and make it magenta whatever color you want that's nice and pleasing to you strength bring it up the glow bring it up quality I'm gonna make mine high because it's cool like that and then I'm gonna double click inside of this thing and right here I'm gonna actually I'm gonna right click click this convert the symbol and make it another movie clip let's call it nested clip 2 okay and now all I have to do is set some code here that's going to animate it first let's go way deep inside and turn the drawing object magenta there we go now let's go back to the main timeline two levels up now here's our movie clip you see it has no instance name because at this level it doesn't need it let's go back inside you'll see we have that other movie clip nest clip 2 we can give this an instance name of load circle now I'm gonna give you some code here that is going to dynamically rotate this item so it uh, looks a little more smooth than if you were to try to do it on the timeline so let's just make a new layer above that one layer and let's pop some code in control V and I'm gonna make an extra frame here control or sorry F5 on frame 2 and F5 on frame 2 on that layer as well now in the script let's take a look at that press F9 now we have an add event listener so we're adding an enter frame event to this timeline so every time that this frame is entered and since I added two frames there it's going to be continuously looping and at 30 frames per second that's going to be happening 15 times a second or something like that 30 50, some yeah very very fast faster than you can comprehend well, what happens inside of the on enter frame function and here's the event that fires off as you remember. And inside of the on enter frame event function, we lo we give the load circle, which is the instance name we gave this thing. See, click that and it says load circle here, so we can talk to it through code. 
and we say rotation, its rotation value is plus equal 20. And you can change this number if you want it to, its rotation value to be greater or less, and which will make it look like kind of like speed. It's kind of like its speed value, how fast it will spin. Alrighty, so that's the code, and all you need to see is it implemented into a working file now. So I'm going to show you that. Well, first let's take a look at what we have here. Control Enter. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Little tails on it. It's awesome. Okay, I'm not going to leave anybody guessing on this one. I'm going to show you exactly how to implement it into a full Flash website or a big bulky Flash file. What we do is go back into scene one where it's glowing. We have a nice glow effect on it. The main timeline. All right, and here I have a file which I've established for you because I'm nice like that and I called it Flash Action Script 3 Simple Circular Preloader and actually all I did was take one of my older tutorials that had a load bar and I'm going to show you how to do apply this circle now so here you see circular animation that layer is there and it has some text on it but I'm going to put something else on it right here I'm going to grab this control C go back into that new file and I'm going to explain this file to you in just a second and press control V on that layer I'm going to replace existing items because I loaded it in here before to check it out and it worked okay so now what we have here is on frame one if you want to know how to preload your flash websites you can go and check out the other tutorials we have I'll explain it really quick this code here on frame one is load percentage of this file and what it does is it reads the load percentage and once it reaches 100 or above 99 uh, we make it shoot to frame 2 where it has a stop command and that's where your whole site is and basically your whole site would be on this file content layer see I even named it nest whole site on this one layer boom right there in that one frame you have one movie clip that has your whole site watch double click on that movie clip and there's your whole crazy timeline that you would have in your site don't put a big crazy timeline up here in this main timeline in the scene one timeline just one frame you want two frames sitting there maybe if you want some little simple animation maybe 20 frames at the most but that's it and have everything nested inside of one clip if you want to fade that one clip in that's fine but everything in one clip 